good to be at home and uh, back with the family anyway first of all it's great but um, you know back with the lads here as well is a good crack and uh, we got a good reception from the boys yesterday in, in training and uh, you know I think something like that an achievement like that will give, give confidence to other fellas as well you know and, and uh, everyone feeds off it and we're back into the think of it now with uh, a Magnus League game on Friday night so hopefully um, the success will continue you know. Marcus, just talk us through the last, those last two minutes from the time that, that uh, Wayne Barnes blew the whistle and indicated a penalty. That, just talk us through those two minutes when, you, when, you, when the thoughts oh, going through your head. Yeah, to be honest, I thought, I thought we were done and dusted. Uh, I, think, um, I think Stephen Jones got a, a penalty from the similar, a similar distance in the first half and uh, I just felt you know, the way, way things were going that you know, we were done and dusted and uh, I couldn't even look at it. But, as it went over my head, I was a good bit out the field. It was definitely well on target, and uh, I couldn't see whether it was dropping short or not. But uh, you know, I was praying. I was looking up to the sky. Thank God the roof was open. I was uh, praying that, that that it would drop short, and I saw um, Jordan catching it under the post, and a few of the lads around him got pretty excited. And then uh, all of a sudden, I saw the red head of Paul O'Connell tearing around the field like a lunatic. So I knew it was uh, I knew it was good news, and. Uh, after that, then it was just a blur, you know. We just went bananas, and um, you know, as, as you said, the rest is history, you know. Marcus, uh, compared to the, the atmosphere in the Millennium Stadium last weekend, to the you've been there twice before for a huge fine, you've been there three times before. But uh, what's, what was it like? Um, I think very different. Obviously, you could definitely say the times we were there with Munster, we were practically the home side with the majority of the support there. Um, so it was definitely a different, a different atmosphere in that sense, you know. we. You know that uh, the, the Welsh uh, support w- was kind of dominating, but um, you know there were there was times during the game where where uh, you could hear um, the chants from the Irish coming up, and it really lifted us. And I think it, it kind of means a lot more when when you know they're outnumbered and, and you can hear them over the Welsh. I think it was um, it was a superb feeling and uh, definitely gave me a lift. And you know the crowd, the support was just magnificent all, all the way through. Like uh, um, you know looking away the crowds that were leading up to the the stadium. There's no way all of them had tickets, um, you know. And I heard afterwards there was a lot of people who just came over just for the the weekend, um, not even not even caring if they had a ticket or not, just to be there and just to experience the excitement. And um, you know, all that support outside the stadium gave us a huge lift as well. You know, yeah, you had huge friends and relations over for the match. Yeah, we had a few difficulties with tickets. Um, I left tickets at the hotel room and they, they mysteriously went miss or in the hotel lobby. And uh, my uh, father-in-law was meant to collect them and they went missing. So uh, it was a bit of a ruckus downstairs for them, but they eventually got sorted out. And, uh, you know, things like that, I suppose, have to happen on big days like that, you know, just to, to focus the mind a small bit. But, um, yeah, there was great support. Um, trips, People making trips from everywhere, flying into Bristol and wherever they could to come over. And, um, you know, it's great to see people doing that and giving us the support they did, you know. The ones probably who didn't get there were, were out in, 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 in their thousands in, in Dublin for the, for the reception at the Mansion House. Yeah, I mean, that was amazing. You know, we, we didn't know what to expect coming home. Um, there was so much happening that weekend with the Bernard Dunn fight as well. And, uh, you know, I suppose you think of people who, who spent a lot of money supporting teams and, um, you know, the times that we're in at the moment as well. Um, you think, you know, after St. Patrick's Day too, that people would find it difficult to, to make the trip or whatever. But... Um, to see the, that, that, that street um, outside the mansion house just uh, completely green with people supporting us it was just amazing. It gave everyone a lift because uh, God knows we were a bit uh, seedy that morning, you know, coming home. And um, it was just great to see everyone out uh, supporting the team. And uh, you realise then how much it means to the country. So Mark, you're, you're, you're here, what, but four days after probably one of the most intense physical games of your career. How, how, how is Marcus Horan's body and mind and, and in, in terms of, of going, going into the next stage? Yeah, it's um, obviously a bit sore, a bit tired, you know, but um, I'm a firm believer that, you know, a new new environment now and a new new setup for us, it will, it'll, uh, you, you'll, make, you'll, you'll be better for it, you know. I think, um, you know, the, it's, a long, it's a long couple of months um, w- with Ireland, you know, from, from Christmas on, you know, you're, you're with Ireland and you're, you're, um, you're, in, you're in a hotel and, and you're in the camp mode the whole time. But, you know, I think this is freshening it up for us now again, no matter how, how you're feeling, it's always good to be back home in your own bed and around your own family and friends. And um, that'll make a huge difference for guys uh, recuperating from, from, the, from the, the last few games. And um, you know, everyone's just mad keen to get back into the, into the Munster jersey again. And, and um, you know, when you're, when you're in contention for two other competitions at this stage of the season as well, it makes it all the easier to, to get stuck into it. And I think, I think we're all looking forward to it. 
You have to adjust to, to, to in lots of ways, you have to adjust to, to new teammates, you have to adjust in, in, in a certain sense, you have to adjust to a new management team and any difficulty there? No, not really. I think we're all fairly used to each other here. Um, it's probably it's probably more difficult going the other way when you know going going up to the Irish camp in, in January was probably a, a difficult thing because it was a relatively new setup and um, you know new players, new management coming in and um, you know that that was kind of hard. But we we gelled well there with Ireland. But for for us here, um, there's a lot of us have grown up together. Um, you know, there's a great um, great camaraderie there. We had a good uh, pre-season tour to the state, so you know we're all uh, we're all. Uh, know each other really well and um, the crack is good you know everyone's just dying to get back and get involved again looking forward to uh, what you would hope most of people hope will be a, a good end of season yeah I think um, you know when you get a taste of silverware like we've had now um, you know you just want to keep that success going as much as you can and if it rubs off a small bit on, on some of the players here all the better but um, you know there's definitely a great focus there before we ever left for the Six Nations and I don't think that's changed now since we've come back